Hello. I'm Ian Christensen, the NATF Administrator. Matt Wilson, Commissioner of the NATF. We've had a few questions from the community about foot placement and throwing motion, so we thought we'd put a little video together to talk through the official rules and go point by point to give some clarity to everybody. Perfect, yeah. We're excited to do a little visual demonstration. We apologize for the crudeness of this video. Uh, we're just trying to get something out to provide that clarity quickly. We also apologize for the handsomeness of the actors in this video. Please contain yourselves. <laughs> uh, so, foot placement for a standard throwing axe. Number one, when setting up to throw, a player's lead foot may be on top, beside, behind, or in front of the black line. Lead foot is my forward foot, so I may start on the black line, I may start behind the black line, I could start beside the black line if I really wanted to, and I can start also with that lead foot in front of the black line, and I can really push that a little bit if I wanted to. At that point, their back foot must be planted completely behind the black line. So my back foot, even in the scenario where my lead foot is in front of the black line, my back foot must be behind the black line. We use the term planted here, and a little bit of clarity we want to give to that is that planted does not mean that the entire sole of my foot must be firm against the ground. I can have just my toe making contact. I could also tilt the foot sideways as long as none of it is crossing onto the black line. This is not okay because I'm on the black line, but this is fine and this is fine. Okay? The back foot may be planted off-center to the left or right of the black line as long as it is still entirely behind the back of the black line in relation to its distance from the target. Uh, this rule is sort of is specifically there for clutch scenarios where someone might be trying to get a better uh, angle on a clutch. So if I wanted to be to the slight side of the black line, I could do that as long as my foot is still behind that black plane. So I could be right there if I wanted to get a better look at that right clutch for whatever reason. Okay, so left or right, I can be slightly past the black line. Once the motion to throw the axe has begun, the player may take a full step forward, bringing their rear foot to the front of their body and planting it as the motion to throw continues. Okay, and now we're talking motion to throw. Again, I'm gonna use the example with my foot starting, my lead foot starting in front of the black line. Motion to throw is as soon as any part of my body begins to move. There's been some questions about, does the arm have to be the distinguishing piece of the body that's moving, and that's not the case. I might throw like this where my body starts to move and at the end of my throw is when I release. That's totally fine. Also, if my body starts, stays, if my feet stay still but my arm is moving, that is motion to throw. Any movement of the body is considered the motion to throw. This foot that is now moved from the back of the player to plant on the floor in front, once planted, must not leave the ground again until the axe has left the hand of the player and has been thrown. So if I start and I've got this foot as my rear foot, this is the one we're referring to. I'm starting my throw, this plants, I have to let go of the axe before this foot leaves the ground again. During the motion of the throw, any steps taken before crossing the black, the back plane of the black line do not count towards the legal step count. So that is for anyone that has an additional step or two to lead up to their throw. So somebody, as long as they're within the perimeter wall, this is acceptable. They could take an additional step here, they might do something like that. And this is the moment when this is considered their rear foot, and now it can still move forward and plant there as long as the axe is released. Uh, if I start back here and I go like this, that's fine. This foot can still leave the ground and cross. Essentially, once this moment happens, that's when we start counting that rear foot as having to stay planted before the axe is released. Finally, players must not cross the red footfall line until both players have thrown their axe. To clarify, after throwing, there must be a conscious pause from both players before crossing the red footfall line to approach the target. Okay, and we know the red footfall line is there and we cannot cross that. Let's make sure that we're distinguishing. I am allowed to step on that line. That's okay. But if I cross that line at all, that is not okay. All right, so that's the crossing of the red foot fault line. The other very important part here is that there has to be some co conscious moment. It can be ever so brief, but some uh, stop of motion towards the target. So if I'm the secondary thrower, you wanna be sure that just because you're throwing second doesn't mean that you can just throw and then blast right through that red line. I still need you to throw, take a beat, and then you can approach the target. This is directly in relation to you as a thrower understanding where your own ax has landed and assessing that that is safe to approach the target, okay? If 
don't want to see you throwing at a secondary thrower and just blasting right through the red line. You need to take a moment, ever so briefly, to acknowledge that your throw is complete, and then you can cross. Okay? Now, that's it for us. We wanted to clarify all these points. We're extremely excited for the NATC in less than two weeks. And just wanted to remind you guys that we're gonna have referees and officials in every single arena, and they're gonna be the ones that are gonna be making the final calls when it comes to any rulings in regards to competition. Yeah, that goes for you know clutches or device calls, all that stuff will, will happen by the referees in the lanes, as well as any uh, things that might happen in relation to foot faults or, or throw motion, etc. So just, you know, remember that sportsmanship comes first, so just worry about yourself, make sure that your throws are legit and that your axes are legit, and, uh, and the referees will take care of the rest, okay? Looking forward to a fantastic tournament. Excited to see you all there. Good luck, everybody. Cheers.